Dr. Renee Page from the Medical College of Georgia is with us today, and now is the time to get some of your questions answered from the expert here. <laughs> so, Dr. Page, let's go ahead and start with a question mm -hmm. that we got from Sounds Denise great. F. Okay. And she asks, since my period stopped, my desire for sex has decreased. Is this normal? Yes, it is. I'm sorry to say, but as your hormones, um, specifically the female hormones, decrease, you can expect that your libido will go down as well. Um, unfortunately, um, also menopause can cause vaginal dryness, which is... Discomfort. Yes, yeah. there you go. Yeah, so it doesn't necessarily mean that your feelings are diminished for your your significant other. That's correct. It's there's a, a I guess that would be a physiological, a physical yes. reason. Yes, that's a physical reason that we can fix, and we don't. Hormones is the best treatment for um, things like vaginal dryness, but you know you always want to assess the whole couple. So there could be a relationship situation. There could be a um, situation that's just related to physical, as you mm -hmm. said, or physiologic reasons, but um, we can work with anyone, so we can help you get that desire going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that, it makes me think of uh, something uh, that's very funny. It's a commercial that we have to play for you real quick, and it's about supplements, and mm -hmm. uh, let's play that right now. <laughs> Those sentiments are what we feel, and I love yes. the one that said, I'm hot, but in a good in way. A good way. <laughs> so you can still be hot, and you can help that couple feel yes. hot again. Okay? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> All right. Amy A. asks, mm -hmm. my period stopped in January. I had night sweats for several weeks, but then it stopped. Mm -hmm. Do I need to take hormones? I don't feel any differently. Mm -hmm. So there's no mandate that you should take hormones just because your periods are stopping. So the perimenopause menopausal state can sometimes be the most uncomfortable for women. That's the time when their periods are sometimes irregular, but they haven't quite stopped yet. So they're wondering, am I in menopause? Am I uh, around the menopause period? But it can be so uncomfortable because you have difficulty sleeping, you, have dif you start having sweats, you're not quite sure what's happening, but there's no mandate that you have to have hormones. But some women come to me asking, begging, what can you, what can you do for me? How can you help me and there are lots of things that we can do especially because we have so many awesome this awesome generation of boomers mm -hmm. that are have voices their voices are strong and they want help with menopause yeah yeah and that makes a difference mm -hmm. um, Ellen C I don't have a period anymore mm. but I get bad cramps mm -hmm. like a lot of pressure in the pelvic floor do I need to see my doctor or is this like normal now it's a new yeah. normal that's a very good question Ellen um, I'm guessing that you didn't have a surgical menopause I'm guessing that you went into natural menopause and women talk to us all the time about having cramps and things like that because they're probably still ovulating, <laughs> believe it or oh, not. Oh, really? Yes. So they don't have a period anymore, but they can still ovulate? They can still ovulate occasionally, okay. but the, my concern about Ellen is that she may have scar tissue or something like that, and that that is what's causing all of that cramping and pressure. So I would recommend that you definitely see your doctor. All right. Yeah. Uh, Janie M is next. I'm currently taking Premarin to keep from menopause symptoms. Mm -hmm. Tried to get off it for a couple of months and the mm -hmm. menopause symptoms were so bad I had to go back on it again. Mm -hmm. Is there something else I can take to do um, or do mm -hmm. to help with the symptoms if she tries to go yeah. off it again? So you can, there are lots of options as I said because of this um, bolus of menopausal uh, women who are baby boomers. They're a big group of women. They have, as I said, they have voices. They have helped us to drive better and more effective and a large array of treatment. The treatment for menopause is not just one drug or another drug. It, we can supplement, we can um, come up with, so Premarin is an oral medication or mm -hmm. vaginal, but we can also do a patch. There's lots of common, there are lots of combinations that can work for her. It sounds like you're kind of moving into Patty's question, which is are so-called bioidentical hormones safer or more mm -hmm. effective than other forms of therapy? 
So bioidenticals haven't been studied well enough for us to say that they're um, safer or more effective. So every time a patient asks me, I, I ask her whether it's helping. If it's helping for her, I am happy to support that. But they're not studied well enough for us to be able to say that they are FDA approved and safe. Um, I don't use bioidenticals to help with symptoms and things like that because I can't assure their safety, but, I'm, but I don't go against what my patient says. It's a conversation and a yeah. support. Do hormones protect against aging <laughs> and wrinkles? Will they increase my sex drive? <laughs> Betsy, girl. <laughs> Well, that's an excellent question, Betsy. <laughs> I think if we knew that hormones increase, increase sex drive, people would be... Line it up. <laughs> <laughs> it would be Viagra 2.0. But since they don't, <laughs> sometimes hormones can help. Um, certainly, um, we uh, occasionally put women on estrotest or other kinds of testosterones to help with their libido and things like that. Again, that's an individual um, discussion, but they can. Um, what was the other part of the question about hormones? Wrinkles. Wrinkles. We, we, got, we, got, <laughs> we got distracted by the sex drive. We got she also wanted to know about wrinkles. So, so wrinkles, not so much. Um, wrinkles are, you got to look at your family. If your mom and your grandma are kind of wrinkled, then you're probably, you should still take care of your skin, but you're not uh, in the best genetic situation, but you know, sunscreen every day, you know, as we age and expose ourselves to the sun here in this wonderful city, we, we have to be really careful about using sunscreen every day, even those of us, those of us who are a little bit darker skin like myself, we need to use um, sunscreen every day to protect well. ourselves with wrinkles, but no, hormones don't help with that. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> okay, they are wrapping me, but I want to try to okay. get to the last one real quickly from Marsha. Mm -hmm. I get very frustrated because I forget what I want to say mm -hmm. or I can't find the right word. Yes. Uh, she's saying, is this brain fog? Unfortunately, hormones don't necessarily help with that. Um, I, as I look to my long game where I'd like to be 80 and 90 years old, probably talking to Jenny one day, I think about... Um, what I'd like to do to keep my brain active. So think about that, um, just stimulating your brain in a different way and stimulating your body. So exercise is good, um, reading, um, memory games, things like that. It's, it's really tough, but I would talk to your doctor about that specifically, Marsha, because I think that that's, that can help she can, she or he can help you talk through the symptoms, treatment for menopause and that. Dr. Renee Page, thank you so much for your time today. I, a pleasure. It was wonderful to have you here. Please come back. Yes. You're full of great advice. <laughs> <laughs> Up next on Jenny, the millennial voter. Author Demetrius Minor tackles the many issues facing his generation, faith, family, and politics when we come back. Summer vacation.